hey it's daps here welcome to my youtube channel and in this very short video i want to show you how to solve 404 problems so i migrated this website you're seeing on your screen from one hosting to another hosting and i had a very good uh, migration process and i got to the home page everything seems so fine like you could see but immediately i tried to go to another page i tried to just eat the login page now uh let's see i've got 404 uh so let's go back so let's let me come down here and let me eat the start here button and let's see again i still have this same 404 not found page and i'm very sure that this page exists on this website before i migrated this so again let me try to go to the back end and let's do wp admin of course here yeah, i'm still getting a 404 so there's nothing i can do really right now this website is loading 404 on almost all of the other pages except of course for the home page uh, but for some of you you just might have maybe a page or two not loading you may still be able to access your wp admin if you're able to access your wordpress dashboard you just need to go to your dashboard and just change your permalink structure uh with that you should be able to have your url load well but because i have my own page loading most likely i am not sure that can be a plugin problem so what uh, i'm thinking right now would be that maybe i have a corrupt htss file so i will have to definitely go to my hosting account so really i can come down here to my file manager and then go to the public html and of course here search for my .htss file yeah really sometimes when you're here you may not find the .htss file but what you can do is to come up to the far right here and hit the settings and then you can click this button that says show hidden files and then this should display a .htss file uh scrolling down here i still can't find dot htss file is always somewhere up here what this really mean is that uh the migration process uh did not copy the dot htss files so it's so obvious that the reason why my uh pages are not loading or are loading for for is because my dot htss file was not migrated and with that uh without your dot htss file that give permissions for all those pages to be displayed uh you would always have that problem with 404 so uh, right now the simple solution to this uh is a two-way street is that we go back to our previous uh file a backup file that was installed to the server here and then manually upload the htss file or just create a new one uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's go the route of creating a new one. Just, uh, if you come here, we can just easily type .htss and then we create this file. So now let's edit this file. So as we can see here, this file is empty. So this leaves us with this question, how do we get the content for our .htss file? Uh, how do I get all the codes inside this file? You don't need to worry about that. So what we can do really is for us to just come to Google and type uh, new .htss file and then let's search. So I can scroll down here and let me come to this official wordpress.org website here and then let me click this scrolling down here we can see basic wp uh this would be the content for our .htss file so you can easily come down here and copy this uh, and then come back here and paste it here and then save changes so immediately uh that is done we can then close this page and then you can come back to our file to see that we now have a .htss file uh, which is good so let's come back now to our website and then let's reload this page 
and now you can see my page is now loading my login page is loading and uh, if i come to the about page now uh, you can see that the about page is loading and every other page the support page as well too is loading and every other page is working as fine as should in case you come down here and you find your dot hss file still there and you have your 404 page just copy freshly new code and paste it into your dot hss file there's a possibility that it is corrupt this is exactly how you can solve your 404 problems thank you very much for watching this video i hope it has been useful if it has give me a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section i've helped you i'll be so glad to hear from you and i'll see you again in my other video have an amazing time